Welcome into season two, episode five of the roast of us. Uh, we're still d getting into uh, the the swing of things. All right. <laughs> so if you see some inconsistencies with days posted, we are fixing that. OK, so from now on, you're going to see us on a single day posting every week at the same time. Uh, I know YouTube we've been also. lying to you about it but in the past, but I'm telling the truth this time. I swear to God. Yeah. Um, no, it's been fun. We've actually kind of excited about this episode. We've got some pretty cool news that we've kind of talked about, but now we've got a little bit more information on it. Mm -hmm. So the Cowboys uh, and and Leslie and I have been working together for the past couple of weeks. Not all of my Cowboys content was was theirs. Uh, most of it is not like they didn't they didn't work with us in the beginning. But cool thing is we are being brought out to the game next week at at and Stadium. We've got pregame sideline passes, not sideline passes. What are they called? Field, Field passes. passes. Um, they're putting us up, getting us involved with some of their content creators. We might meet some people, get to take some pictures, maybe some content I think it's gonna creation. Be fun. Uh, yeah, this is like a dream come true for me. I just so, hope we win. Yeah, well, we're going to win because you're going to be wearing the outfit. <laughs> So the whole I don't know thing. How, I don't know how you're going to make it work, but you're going to make it work. Okay. I can't just wear that. I can't just be out here double cheeked up I don't, in public. I, listen, at this point, I don't care. It's a family okay. event. I might be able to put it on underneath some pants. They're, the cheerleaders out there are double cheeked up. Yeah, they're in the they're same double, outfit. No, they're not double cheeked up. My outfit is much cheekier. There's are low waisted. Well, I have can, to have a high Maybe we can talk version. to the Cowboys and see if we can get you a, a uniform. They're not going to give me a uniform. Listen, you never know. You can only I definitely, just ask. No, but see, here's my thing is I have to have like a high-waisted version of that uniform. I don't well, want the low rise. Also. I can't be wearing that. <laughs> I have been a pretty big fan of a guy named Tim the Tap Man for years. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. He is, he is my favorite streamer. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and tell you I watch streams every day, all day. Like, no. But when I do want to like watch somebody, yeah, I go to his like page. Him. Um, he has been my favorite. Well, it's he's also cool. a huge Cowboys fan. He's also a huge Cowboys. It's pretty cool because he did a video reacting to the funniest NFL memes and TikToks. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had two of them on his reaction video. It was pretty cool. Um, and this is why sometimes like I forget like certain people. And here's my thing. Before I say this, I am not on the same level as 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 Tim, Tim the Tatman. Man. We are yeah. not. But I, I will say that it, it made me like excited and I was excited. And I, it, yeah. It, it helps me understand. Like sometimes I'm like, why do people care when they see us in public and want to meet us? Like I feel like we're just normal people. It was a fangirl. We're just moment a little you know bit what though. I mean. And then I realized like, okay, it, not at the same level as him, no, but of like, of course not. I can understand. Like we're making content, we're making people laugh. You know, they feel like they can relate to us and that we've entertained them. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's what he did for me, and that's why I was excited when he when he it's uh, cool when he posted it. Now, obviously. You know, he didn't message me or like anything like that, but Doesn't matter. just using the content is awesome. So I think it was a pretty cool. We didn't even know one of my followers or one of our followers like commented. On well, no, no, video. no. That was like, I mean, don't get me wrong. We didn't like find out like that was posted within like eight minutes of his video going up. No, that's what I'm saying. You know what like, I mean? Like, yeah, wait, it was that fast. It's not like we were waiting four days and then we found out. No, no we found I mean, out like immediately. Like that video went up and then somebody already had commented like, oh my God. He you made Tim video. the Tap Man's video. It and was I was like, cool. holy crap. That is yeah. really cool. I'm really excited because um, I've been watching him for years and just to be kind of involved in anything he did was cool. But I also wanted to talk about something that uh, making this podcast, I think, has really... Uh, enhanced for me is I don't know if any of you guys out there will not even watch something necessarily but just talk about it you know and your phone picks up on it oh my god all apps do it oh my god all apps do it the more we've talked about the podcast the more my tiktok is showing the other people's podcast yep and I have found like two people two podcasts the basement yard that that are like my favorite podcast I've ever heard and they are hilarious. And neither of them, I don't think I would have ever found like naturally outside of just TikTok. like on the podcasting realm outside no. of TikTok. So it's so cool. And that's what we're going to start working on too is getting, you know, what is the name of the other pod that presence. I know you like? I know the basement yard. Guys Here's my thing is they're like, me up. Th this is how I don't know how to say this. It's like a very similar like vibe and friendship they have, but like also completely different. Mm hmm. 
and like two the and it's not just their color because one podcast is two black guys and one podcast is two white guys but just like their dynamics that they have between each other yeah. and like the way they interact is similar but also so different because like one is a UK well they're also like British yeah it's I mean British UK so I started saying you know, city style <laughs> you know content where the, these the other guys are more like Southern America. I don't know if they're They're Southern. not Southern. Cody, those people are from like New New York. Have you heard them they're talk? They're not New York. Have you heard them talk? One of them Joey. might be. Like One of them might be. They're Maybe both. They're they've both. been friends since like birth. They don't throw a lot. Really? Those are Yankees. You think they're Yankees? Bro. bro. They might be. Either bro. way, they're like Americans, like blue collar Americans. style Americans is what I would say. And they just, it was so funny to watch some of their content. But recently, I wanted to bring up something that that was brought up on on one of their podcasts. Okay, um, and I don't I've not done the research. I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there that I hope he did that. This is actually a trend going on. What is the Internet? Have you ever heard of <laughs> so it's pretty rough. Have you ever heard of anything called iglooing? So if you were going to think about it, like what would be iglooing? What the fuck does that mean? Just you try to think about it. it based on the name, what would you Is this a sex think? thing? Just again, are you not listening to the question? Iglooing. Well, if you're being in a pure sense, iglooing is making a fucking igloo or yes. sleeping in an igloo. Right. But I have a feeling this is gonna be a weird sex thing. I just know that it is. Tell me what it is. It is it is a weird sex thing. Tell me what it is. I don't I don't even like it's so hard to even say this out loud. Anthony will believe so it apparently, out. Apparently, it is when you take your shit. No. Okay. No, you've already done nope. too much. You've nope. already said too many words. It's when you take your shit and you freeze it. You've and no. Then you use no. It no. No. As no. A no. Dildo. No. No. I don't know if anybody's actually out here doing it. No. But apparently, it's a popular enough term that, like, that you know, like this is a some sort Igloo of a term. How popular of a term is it? Also, how many of you weird motherfuckers are out there? Shoving your own poop back up your butt. It's already out. It's not going up your butt. I mean, is that where you normally would use that? Well, I guess for if you're a guy, it has to go up your butt. I don't think it's for guys, Les. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe I'm just wrong. No <laughs> woman is doing that. That's a man thing. That's see, that, ever there's heard. Leslie. <laughs> Leslie's a sexist, and she <laughs> hides it by calling it feminism. <laughs> That's all there is to it, dude. For sure. Leslie uses the term feminism to just hate men. I don't hate men. You do. I hate don't men. hate men. Listen, you, J Leslie, so like if I was to think the worst in every situation of a, of a You know, you just glazed over iglooing. I didn't glaze over it. I don't know how, how much time do you want to talk about shoving shit up your body? Frozen shit. <laughs> Did you want to have a whole segment on Ew, it? No, because all like that's no, it can't be for a girl because all I think about is like all the infections you would fucking get from something like that. I'm like, that's why my brain immediately was like, oh no, they're not putting it in their coochies. It can't yes, be because you I'm would sure end up is. with. So Leslie, what do you what do you mean? You, is there a healthy way to do this? Is there a is there a way to 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 igloo where it's not going to give you infection? Handling human feces. In any way, you're handling human feces. There's chance of infection and death. Pretty wild, but there is, okay? And I have no idea. <laughs> also, it honestly- makes my body shiver. That's I don't horrible. have, I don't have, maybe I've just got a- No, we're not. We don't need to talk system. about you. We is don't it, need to talk about your- I couldn't movements. lay a good dildo out of my butt, no. I don't think. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you gotta be pretty consistent. Long and hard, like single push. Can't have any breaks. I don't know how they're doing it. The logistics Cody's, of Cody it. Cody has gone from the being repulsed of it. to impressed <laughs> I don't know how in one could, like, sentence. I don't know how you could do the logistics of getting a big enough turd out of your butt. A lot of fiber. Also, like, were you just shitting onto, like, a platter? I mean, there's so many questions I have about <laughs> this. Are you, you you just barehanding it out of the toilet? No, stop. Yeah. Okay, I'm done with this conversation. We can glaze over it again. <laughs> you wanted That's to get back horrible. on it. We can talk you about me hating men the, again. The what? I'd rather talk about me hating men. Yeah, oh, you definitely do. I, no. I, I, it is the internet is such a wild place to live in and be a part of yeah you yeah. know because like don't get me wrong we'll follow some trends we'll do some mm -hmm. things that are what you would consider trending or we do something i don't know there's a lot on the internet i don't know where these are coming from you know what i mean like how did it because here's my thing i oh, can understand how where that came from a crazy trend can can 
or not a crazy trend, but a crazy video can go popular, like viral. It's like, okay, yeah, but who's it's watching wild that once. Video? But who watches it and is like, oh, I got to do that also, too. Also, also, if I was into some weird ass shit like that, you could not, the government, the CIA could not torture that fucking information out of me. To yeah. share with somebody, to make it like Listen, a that, known but phrase. But we're not talking about the one crazy person. I am kink shaming. We're not talking about the one crazy person. But to me, once you see it, I think what it is, is it's not even about like kinks at that point. It's about people morbid, so desperate. Morbid curiosity? Ha- no. Good Lord. Will you let me finish one thought here, Leslie? I will kick God. you in the teeth. No. They want to be famous. They want to have that viral video. So they're willing to do whatever it takes because they're not out of morbid curiosity. You don't film yourself doing it. I know that's true. Right. You're not doing no, it true. like you're filming it because you saw somebody do something that got millions of views or whatever it is. And you're like, dude, I'll do anything for that. And that is something I don't understand. How like, many? don't get me wrong. We're on here making videos. We're doing things. But like. We very, I'm, I'm very picky with what I'm going to post. I'm not going to just do like trends come around. I'm like, I'm not doing that shit. No. no. You know, I want it to be original and from me. And like, yeah. there are so many people who just want to, they want to find the easy way to do it. You know what I mean? And there's really no easy way in getting any success on the internet. There really isn't. Like, yeah, no, you can it's get easy lucky. to get, I think it's, it's luck to get like a one-off video. Yeah. But to take that and to and turn grow it, it into, into something, something else more is not easy. Is it's, not there's easy. no fast route. There's no, it's going to take, you know, months and months of grinding, you know, it, and don't get me wrong. It can, it can be faster than, you know, for one person than it is for another. Um, but they're all well, working, you're than, working hard. Yeah. Even, well, I mean, not everybody. Who do you think? Not everybody. I mean, I think Are if you you're. Are you stirring shit up? Uh, I don't know if we're stirring shit up. I just, I'm about to be, so you hated on men. I'm about to hate on women. Oh, okay. I didn't hate on men. I said one thing. <laughs> no, but the reality is I think the only one that I think the women who can just post a dancing video in a bikini. They got more followers than me. Uh, no, I'm not saying right. they're not doing it right. I'm saying that, that to me you. seems easy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that to me, it's like, okay, what? I would love to you see know? you do one TikTok dance. They're not even dancing you, well most of the time. I would That's love to my see thing. you do one is piece of choreography. It's not, I'm, what does that even have to do with it? I don't know. You think that's that hard? Head. The choreography is like a third grade level dance concert. It's not like these, like, don't get me wrong. There are some talented dancers out there. And that is not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like, like dancers. I'm talking about Renegade. chicks who want to just get scantily dressed and then dance. Here's my thing. And that to me You can say what you easy. want. You can say what you want. The reason they're so big is because men are out there fucking watching it. I'm not saying them. it's not watched. I'm not. So you're trying to come over here. It's not going to do anything like that. I'm just saying that's the easiest way that I've seen to make content. Quality content in a sense of like lots of view content. Consistently. Yeah. Can you name an easier way of doing that? So if you're really hot and you got a big butt or something, then maybe you can take the easy route. But if you're just a regular old person, I don't I don't see an easy route. Or if you're just not comfortable showing your butt cheeks and titties, then also I don't I just don't know if an I showed easy my butt route. cheeks. What? I showed my butt cheeks. Do not show your butt cheeks. <laughs> what do you mean? Actually, she did. Go scroll through all of her one of her videos. It's way down there. Yeah, go watch. Make sure you watch every <laughs> single one. No. It only happened. You only can see the video if you like 50 videos in a row. <laughs> <laughs> Secret unlock. No, it was the first. It was the, when I surprised you with the Dallas Cowboys outfit. It's and not. I did a oh car my wheel. god, that my is cheeks. not. That is not anywhere near what we're. Somebody talking commented. About. Somebody. I had like a few people comment on that video. I'm like, oh, this is what money and fame does to you. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? Money and fame does money what? and fame. First also, of all, money where's and the money fame. and fame? Where's the money and fame? <laughs> I've yet to see it. <laughs> if you can't tell, we're filming our podcast, our super high quality podcast, because we're so famous and rich, in our living room. On a 10-year-old couch. That we got from a halfway house. It was not like, a halfway house. It wasn't Jesus. a halfway house. No, Leslie. It was what like a rehab, mean? like halfway house situation that no. a church set up. No. Know what it was? No. It was a it was a it was from like it was um, an AA, AA meeting place. Meeting room. Good lord. That is a much I much escalated different. That. I escalated that. It's from a halfway house. Jesus. <laughs> That's a much more used couch. Okay? Man. 
Golly, we've never actually bought any furniture. No, before. but people commented, and then somebody commented on like one of my videos, and was like, um, "That was a video talking about our sex life." I'm, I think I don't remember. I don't fucking remember yeah. the video, but it's talking about shit that I always talk about on my page. I always have since the beginning of me posting videos. Yeah. And somebody was like, "She used to post." God, what did she say? She used to post Bible content on here, and I'm like, "Who are you talking about?" Wrong person. Because it's not. Because it's not me. Not that we don't. And love not that Jesus I don't. I love the, the Lord. I love the. I am a Christian. I. I love my Bible. I love Jesus. But that was never. That was what never we the base of my content. It's always been. And also, content, I said. You know? Um, I think Jesus is okay with me talking about sex with my husband. I think that's like part of the whole shtick of. Being yeah, isn't married that as a what Christian. you're supposed to do? And that what you're supposed to do? Like that's the person you're supposed to be having sex with. What would you rather me do? Yeah. Like I don't understand. <laughs> like I, it's all the same thing. You know what I mean? But no, I mean the other thing that I, I would say is a simple and consistent way of maybe creating content is if you already do something have a baby. for a living. Oh, <laughs> that's still not easy. Anything you're no, doing. No, it's not easy to Here's have my a baby. thing, Leslie. And my turn to hate on anybody who hates on women. If you're carrying a baby, nothing's easy. Agreed. So if you're out here making content while having a baby, I think it's arguably harder. So Leslie, why do you hate women who are having babies? No, I don't. You don't. You Leslie know what hates I'm fucking pregnant talking bitches. about. No. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> No, but no, I don't think having a baby makes it easier. Having a baby, makes listen to me. You no, have no, content. no, no. It the content fucking when couples on to and I'm not hating on it. And I'm not saying that that's the reason people are I'm not that's not what I'm fucking talking about. You're going but on a slippery path here. You're no, I, think we should I don't just care. not go down it. <laughs> when you have How a baby, do you hate on pregnant I'm women. not hating. You're putting words into my mouth. When you have a baby on social media. If you're a social media family or a social media person, and I'm not, not every person that it has a baby wants to It just gives you something to make content it about. Gives, it, it The content makes itself. Yeah. Because people want to be involved. The parasocial yeah. relationships we form with strangers we watch on the internet yeah. are wild. Yeah. They want to see it. I've made it very, very clear on my own TikTok that we are not having any more kids. We don't no. want any more fucking babies. But man, it was popular just talking about one time. We are like, maybe we'll have a kid. And then it was like, that's For all, and I still get comments. Ever, I still get constantly. comments. I posted the one video of me being really sad and how I kind of cried when Aurora started school, and there was like forty comments. Just have another baby. Have another. That's not the fucking. The, oh my god! Why did you fucking do that? That's not the. That's not the fucking point. But back to don't what I was saying that. before, Leslie, so rudely interrupted, just and fuck. hated on pregnant women. Um, <laughs> that's the title of the episode. Leslie hates pregnant bitches. No, no, here's no. the thing. When you look at like what other things, like somebody who does something for a living. Yes. And I'm not saying that it's necessarily easy. It's like anybody could do it. But like comedians who are already doing stand up mm -hmm. and they're filming their content. Yeah. That seems not so bad. I think that would be easier. It's like if this podcast was big enough or oh hell, I hate to say this, but like even like creating short forms from podcasts definitely has a lot of editing and things. But like. The content is already there. The content a lot of times. is there already. But having to create unique videos that are also going to get views is not easy. And here's the thing. And followers do not account for video views. No. No matter what a, anybody not, thinks. No, not it. Not a little bit more on Instagram than on. On Instagram for on sure. On Instagram because like Instagram people is, are not on. They, like they'll actually see what their followers. Like nobody's on the follower page of TikTok. Like on Instagram, you'll, you'll still I have scroll people. through my main feed. Of, I, yeah, you'll I don't, still be scrolling through your feed of people you actually follow and stuff. I only find myself scrolling through reels on Instagram like accidentally. Yeah, I'm like, how the fuck did they I? They have like here? a whole section there, but it's it's just yeah. But on TikTok, yeah, which is the prim primary yep. platform for everybody now, I think when it comes to content, especially creation. for us, um, or YouTube, I guess would probably be still up there, but it's very different. But um, TikTok followers do not account for views. Um, no. Just because you have followers does not mean you're going to have views. And if you're not constantly changing, constantly working, constantly coming up with different ideas, um, making yourself better. Because here's something else that I don't think a lot of people talk about that it's a really real part of content creation is just because you were good at or, or how do I how do I want to say this? People expect growth. Mm -hmm. So you could get away with maybe having poor quality video, poor quality sound. Or, you know, getting away with a lot of stuff that's not maybe higher end or better quality for so long until people start expecting like, okay, well, now you're doing this. Like, you should get better. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you should be developing a better, 
way of doing your your content. And I think that's how you can you as long as they you're evolving you evolve. and growing, yeah. that's what helps keep your audience in engaged and interacting. So like the things we use, like we look back on some of our early content. Oh, especially me. Oh, it's so bad. Especially me because I struggled so hard with the comfortability of myself on the internet. Oh, like for sure. I wasn't ever posting on social media mm-hmm. before. And now it's like, okay, now I'm posting a lot like daily. And I was uh, embarrassed and uncomfortable at first. And, and it, it wasn't with the comedy. It wasn't with those things. Like I was, I'm, I'm comfortable in front of people. I'm comfortable, you know, I would be more comfortable on stage than I would be in front of a camera it's in the beginning. It's very, very It's different. not as easy as you think to get your your personality to come through a screen. And that is something that we work on a lot. And I it's told, really hard. I told somebody this like the other day asking like about our content and that kind of thing. I said, I used to do, we used to do theater. We've talked about that. Like that yep. was our background. So that does aid in being able to kind of like turn it on and, and do the bit. Right. But when you're doing a live performance of something, when you perform something or stand up or whatever it is that you're doing live, you put it out there once and then it's gone forever. Yeah. And the internet, exactly. you know what I mean? You put it out there, it's in the universe, and then it it, it dissipates. It's, where'd it go? Um, I, Matthew McConaughey, hate that. But <laughs> on TikTok or any, the internet, like your, your digital footprint, that's those kinds of things, it's there forever. Like millions of people to watch over and over and over and over again if they so choose to do so. And being, being comfortable enough with yourself and with what you're putting out there to be able to go back and rewatch your stuff so that you're not like, it's bad. It takes, it's hard. Now I can go back and rewatch my videos it's rough, and it's though. not so, it's not so bad. Well, I said, dude, mine, uh, a year ago, the stuff I was posting, I'm like, man. Even my stuff. And I was blowing the fuck up a year ago. And yeah. I was still kind of like some of these videos. I was just now. See, I was in the to... grind a year ago. So a lot of my content from a year ago is rough. And you can tell. I got to go back get, and rewatch. Like, now I've stuff. gotten to the point where I'm, I've, I'm, I'm comfortable. I've got my personality worked out because that's the thing is it's like mm-hmm. okay do you do you lie no absolutely not but you can't just sit and talk like you have no. to amp yourself up a little bit you have to do a little bit more because you have to get your personality to push through that screen to be able to come through to somebody who's not in front of you you know what i mean and and that's so you have to kind of almost create this character version of yourself and it has to be true and honest but it has to be like a little more amped up. So like I tell people it's frozen concentrated orange juice. Yeah. That's like you're yeah. getting th- this is a true part of my personality, but like just people think that I'm just cuz I'm always at a 10 on my videos. Like that's the whole thing. Yeah. I'm not that way all the time. A lot of the time I am. But I'm not that Hmm? What? I'm not <laughs> Am I that what? amped up all the time? Leslie, there are so many times where I've been out in public with so you. So I am authentic. When, fuck when, y'all. <laughs> I've been out in public with you and somebody will literally like you'll walk away and be like what the fuck did she just say what she was like that, that's how she talks normally <laughs> what is that's that not- who, who gave a good description of that the other day somebody said I can't remember what it was but it literally they were like I, 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 I got like a third of the words I couldn't figure out what she was talking about. Mario was shook when you like you were on the phone with me when you like picked him up from the airport a few weeks oh, ago. Oh yeah, she was like she he always talk, she always talks like that. I'm like, dude, that's yeah. Leslie's just always it's because like, I have ADHD. <laughs> so my Leslie brain, diagnoses herself with a whole bunch of stuff. I fit every fuck. I'm telling you, you give me a fucking one Adderall and I am. You've never taken hero. Adderall. I've taken Adderall like once or twice. You took Adderall half a time once. Stop trying to be cool for the internet. <laughs> okay? You took it one time at 17 years old and you cried about it. Said it made you feel bad. So let's be clear. I think it was too much Adderall. It was a half of an Adderall. I think it was a too high of a dose. Either way, I'm not saying you should take Adderall. I think it's smart to not take anything that you don't have to take. But. I it benefit. I, Hit me up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know a guy. Crazy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> know a guy, Tony. Tony. No. Um, I Tony's think... sitting on the couch, dog. What? I said Tony's sitting on the couch, dog. It's not Tony. What's the guy from? Uh, I love that show. Denzel Washington plays him. Um, it's in Two Guns. I don't oh, know shit. what the with Mark fuck Wahlberg. You're talking about. You don't. You oh, you fall asleep every time I put that movie on. It's so good. Two Guns with Mark Wahlberg is an underrated movie. If well, I don't know. Maybe it's not underrated. I don't know how. 
how, it's probably how a, other people I like would it. guarantee but it's a really that it's good buddy. It's like a rated. buddy cop movie kind of thing. I love a buddy cop movie. You know, and I I really enjoy it. Like honestly, it's a it's a quality film. Yeah, but if I'm gonna watch a buddy cop movie, the superior buddy cop movie to watch is Lethal Weapon. No. Yes, in some ways. Like, yeah, Lethal Weapon 1 is fantastic. Yes. But, like, at the same time, like, it's completely different. So but this is this funny, is, like, more funny? This would be more along the lines of Rush Hour, which is a superior buddy cop God, movie. Rush Hour is the superior you know, buddy. It's the actual buddy cop movie, not just, like, But, like, yeah, because, like, I feel movie. like Lethal Weapon was, like, a serious film. It's so funny in some spots. I mean... I would definitely not categorize it as like a buddy cop shit. movie. No. Like I, I categorize that as like its own separate, like it's 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 not That's lethal buddy weapon. cop. You know what I mean? It's more of a serious film. It's true. No. Based but, on two cops or partners. Sure, there's been a bunch of those made after that too. Do we but consider like, Men I mean in buddy Black cop. Buddy cop? It's like buddy cop adjacent. Uh yeah. I mean, I would put it in the same category. Same, same also, genre. I would almost put in uh shoot, the other Jackie Chan one with uh, Owen Wilson. Shanghai Noon. Shanghai Noon. Yeah. Shanghai I don't Nights. think they're cops. That's the first one. Shanghai Noon is the first one. They're not cops, are they? I don't remember. But I that's yeah, kind of like, like a, a buddy cop some shit, or something. Yeah, something like isn't that. Owen Wilson like a sheriff? It's been a minute. Um, My kids love that movie. Uh that's like a buddy cop movie. What's another buddy cop movie? Like a comedy style. Ride Along was like a buddy cop movie. Uh, first that movie off, was not very good. I'm so disappointed that that's what came to your mind. That's gross. That movie's Blue horrible. Steel is like buddy cop. Blue Steel? Blue Steel. The blue, when Martin Lawrence. They're not put, cops. He, oh, he's Blue not, Steel. I'm not talking about Zoolander, you fucking idiot. That is Zoolander. Oh, Martin blue Lawrence Steel. says buddy cops with who? Martin Lawrence usually doesn't share the screen. He's usually the star. He is a star who's pretending to be a cop, but I almost like. Yeah, but that's not that's Blue put, Streak. First, did you off. just say Martin Lawrence doesn't? Have you fucking Bad Boys? That's a buddy cop movie, but with that's fucking more Martin like, Lawrence. I agree, but that's Will Smith as long time. But like are those comedy movies were Bad Boys him. is up there for buddy cop. Yeah, and it's not God. buddy cop. Bad Boys is no, a that's Lethal thousand. Weapon. I don't think so. It's way funnier than Lethal Weapon. Yeah, but it's still the very very serious like actual good plot line. Like yeah, that Martin Lawrence and Will Smith have great. Rush Hour has a great pop plot line. Rush Hour is not the same. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my god! You don't know. I guess it's not Buddy Cop. What are Kindergarten? Also, cop. it's not Blue Steel. It's Blue Streak. Blue Streak. No, that's a different movie. I swear, Blue Steel. No, Blue Streak is Martin Lawrence pretending to be a cop. He's a thief. He leaves. The yeah, for the big diamond. diamond. In yeah, the, in the, the building. abandoned building or whatever it turned out to be a police station. Yeah, that's why I was like Blue Steel. What are you Blue talking Steel. about? I was saying, I was I'm like, bro, about that's a, you over here making fun of me. I'm like, I don't think she's right. That's Blue Streak. <laughs> like Blue Steel. I mean, don't get me wrong. Zoolander is kind of a you could almost that is say. not a buddy cop movie. Is, that is the aren't worst. they fighting evil as a tandem duo? I mean, it it could be argued that it's 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 a part of it. Put your vote down in the comments. We're gonna take a break really quick. <laughs> Welcome back. Don't do no, this. No, listen. Fuck you. Oh my back god. Back to back to our version of book talk, okay? Which is just me questioning my wife now, okay? So here's the thing. It got me wondering. Well, what's the point of like spicy? I've never, I've never got that. So the other night we were laying in bed. I was like, well, let me read that. You know what I mean? Like, what's what do you mean? Because you said it was a five, okay? I and lied. then you lied. What is it? It's like a three. It's a three. It's like a three, four, maybe. Oh my god! I think you're but here's trying, a, I think you know, you're trying to happened. be cool. Shut your mouth. No, 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 no. We're no, just no. gonna simply read. Here's Pause. my thing. No. This is the exact conversation I have oh with Lacey god. after this was filmed. They, word for word, you can fucking call her and ask her. I, I said, yeah. And now people on the internet think I'm a pussy because I said no one was like a five or a six. And I said, honestly, I only said that because I don't want Cody to think I was some whore out there just reading listen fucking fairy porn every day. Listen, got the point. Listen, after that, I was interested, and I was like, well, let me read it. <laughs> Let me read that because I was like, I'm interested in it because this is, here's my thing. You have been a, a lifelong hater of, of anime in general. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a hater. Yes, you are. I'm a hater. You act like it's a childish understand. weird thing. And here's my thing. I like anime. Which is fine. I'm not into anime porn. <laughs> okay. In any way whatsoever. But Hentai this for you. gives me the same vibe. That is not anime porn listen because listen i'm gonna read you this because here's this my is thing no about shh, shh. it's about fairies having sex i agree here's the thing it's it's <laughs> it's not even that it's it's the sex or anything like i get that that part i get everybody has a sex drive but let me read some of the cheesy ass shit that is in here 
Don't. This is, no, I'm going to read. Don't do this. So, oh my God, this is so weird, okay? <laughs> it's such a cheesy line. You don't have to say this. I cried out and he buried himself in me with a mighty stroke. Bro, that's, that's so dumb. <laughs> this is the same as to me, as as you as somebody watching like animated porn when you the real thing the is same? out there because you but right these now are written about like fairies <laughs> i agree listen let me tell Leave you no my no, slutty fairy books and me alone <laughs> listen <laughs> it's not have to do it's with not you. the sex that i have a problem with it's the so that's you're trying a, to tell what would you rather it say that's my question is what would you rather what, I don't what think is you the ever, change of sentence i don't think you ever need to say mighty <laughs> you know what i mean a mighty stroke? <laughs> what? <laughs> mighty? <laughs> Come on. Buried himself in me is already pretty like, all right, I mean, okay, sure. But then He's they trying to find more eloquent ways with of saying a mighty... I'm getting fucking railed right now. Honestly, that's better than a mighty Would stroke. Would you rather it just say that? Yeah, he railed that yeah, shit in me. Yeah, he railed that shit in me. It does not fit within the context <laughs> no, of listen, the world, No, listen, listen, listen. Hold on. There's another one that I found in here. Like, Let me find it. <laughs> no, because like some of these are just so cheesy sounding. All of them are, to be honest with you. Not in the context of the book. Yes, it is in the context. Leslie. Leslie. It's in fairy world. We're not in fucking 21st I century agree. America. I agree. This is anime like, I beat porn. that pussy up. <laughs> this, this is not this is not post this is not post Malone. I you're call telling her Shrek because she telling, got the donkey. You're like, telling me that the best you could come up with is a mighty stroke. Like, come on. Hold on. I would like to see Cody write smut and see what he comes up with. He's, it's just, and, and then rumbled against my nipple and made me writhe. What is rumbled against my nipple? <laughs> like, th this is my thing. I'm not Anthony's saying. Anthony's got to edit all of this shit out. No, I'm, he's leaving in, bro. Are you kidding me? Edit out? You're high as a kite. I can say whatever I want. It's a podcast. Okay, then, no, oh, this one. Oh. Oh my god, these are some the, weird why you have to, what? to use them. Spit it out. Okay. <laughs> I'm never talking to you about my books ever again. Licked as his fingers at last dipped between my legs. He stroked lazy, taunting circles. I'll accept that. Is it weird for me still? Like I'm still like, that's kind of odd, but sure. I feel like that's a reasonable line to, 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 to talk about. I'm getting embarrassed. And then his fingers slid into me again and he growled in approval at the wetness bet between my thighs Cody almost had a twist. from both me and him. <laughs> when I read this, it makes me be like, oh my God. It's like somebody who's never had sex describing sex. You know what I mean? Like it's that my problem is not that there is sex in your books. It's that I feel like this did something for you and and you don't get to pretend like somebody who has watches like anime porn or something cuz that's what this feels like. This feels like a this is a fairy. Okay? Yeah, but they're like and here's here's my thing. I'm not going to give anything away cuz you like haven't got people there. Fairies. But I read chapter 55. Okay? Don't tell me I'm not going to tell you anything other than word. oh my God, <laughs> does it get weirder? Not better. Longer. Yeah. More details. Sure. Not better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the details are not getting better. They're getting longer and quite frankly, weirder because. Don't, don't, don't. These are fairies. Yeah. Okay. You have to remember like you're fantasizing over. Like fairies with like wings and, and they don't shit. all have wings. You don't actually know what you're fucking talking about. Listen, Fairy does not have wings. Okay, you can and say Bryson only has wings. L listen, sometimes. Either way, it's an odd thing for you to be so against anyone who's like, oh, I'm you watch anime. It. You're a creepy little nerd. I don't think you're creepy little nerds. Yes, you do. I think everybody's allowed yes, to have do. their kink. And you're lying. Kink, you can have your kink as long as that kink is not shoving your you're own lying. poop in your butt. You're lying. And you're a liar, okay? Because you make fun of every person, every single person who watches anime. You're like, this is so weird. Why do you do it? And it's a very popular thing now. Honestly, the story's great. 
I'm okay with. I think my that. story is great. I bet the story is great, but the sex scenes, I the wetness between my thighs from him and me. That doesn't make you uncomfortable to read. No, it's the fine. Wetness. You just read it. You just read it, but you admitted. Don't try to play now. You admitted it does a little something for you. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> and if you didn't, but that's my thing is, is what cracks me up is men, men and women are very different. That's definitely an odd thing for me to do to think about that and and try to like read those. Like if you if can you imagine if I if I told you like you're about to get this mighty stroke because that's what I mean. I'm, I'm looking at this. As, this is like no. a, like mighty stroke. I'll I'm about to bury myself in you with a mighty stroke. You can I don't know how you can defend that not being some some just off the wall. Yeah, but he did not say that. Yeah, but the author did. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? She's supposed to be a wizard with her words. Well, apparently not all the time. <laughs> What's her name? Who Sarah J. Moss? These Listen, are great books. It, she Look up a synonym, okay? Get a synonym. What do you call like one of those books that has synonyms? A thesaurus. A thesaurus. You should get one, okay? And next time you think about putting mighty as as a sex term, just look at it and don't do it. And just okay? don't do it ever don't. again. Just find another word. Cody you know is just mean? upset. It's not upset. Because I'm a little thrown off because like I always kind of imagined that it would be like well written sex. You know what I mean? Like, like what though? I, I don't like words that wouldn't make me uncomfortable if they were used in that setting. You know oh. what I mean? Like <laughs> if you like that's what I mean. Like something that like if I was reading that immediately, mighty stroke is gonna pull me completely out. Like who wants to get st stroked mightily? You know what I mean? Like or at least in those terms. It yeah, but that's what I mean. It's like it could, you could come up with better terms, in my opinion. And maybe this is like she's not. Maybe she's not that great at it. And that's why her books aren't full of it or anything. That's why she's not known for. Because I do believe she's a fantastic author. Uh, you can't not be have the success she has. They're I'm just great. I'm just wondering how I'm loving this book. That is 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 in there. And then I read that that I read chapter fifty five. Okay, and it's like a long like I always had to I had to sit here for a while. I'm like golly, another page of it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you haven't got there, so I'm not gonna say anything about it. But it's like, okay, well, it doesn't get better. It just got longer, you know? Jesus. I am, can I read one thing? No. Can I say one thing? No. The surprising link no. sprang from, <laughs> sprang out. And I said, what is <laughs> Oh, that's the weirdest way of saying that uh, you have a big, that guy, his, his dick was big. You know what I mean? It's, I'm like, I don't know. Maybe that's what women like, though. You've Maybe never read a book a with thing. sexy stuff in it? Never once. Um, Has any of your books had any spices in them? Have any of my books had any spices in them? No, but see, that's the thing. When they say, like, it, my thing is I don't need somebody. I, and maybe this is why. I don't need somebody to describe sex to me. It's already in my imagination. I've done it. You know I've what I mean? had sex. Like, I've had sex many a times. So my thing is she described a very weird sexual experience to me, like in a sense of like all the things that were like, I'm like, you're missing on a lot of things for me. And so like when I've had books to talk about, like they've, they, they, uh, had sex or something, they just refer to them as of doing that action or something. And then like, you can imagine that. And then it, it moves on. Like, I don't need somebody to give me like a detail by detail rundown, <laughs> rundown of, of, of an odd, like it's to me, it's like an uncomfortable, wording of it like i wouldn't use any of those terms like in my mind if i was going to describe sex we've had never never would i say i, I dude i hit her with that mighty stroke you know what i mean you know I, her wetness between Ew, her thighs okay shut up like that's not like to me that's gross <laughs> also why is that what you want to know about you know what i mean who wants to hear that? You know it's all nasty down there. That's what's the point of it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of stuff going on. We don't need to know. Like, there's so many more things you could describe. Like, what she's feeling physically instead of just the wetness. You say wetness one more time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wait till face. you read chapter 55. It's worse. <laughs> 
listen, I actually do think that that I think these are probably a little elementary style fantasy for me than what you know based on like the plots and things you've told me about your story. And it's not that I. But he has a superiority complex. I don't have a superiority complex. I've just read a shit ton of fantasy, and you're just this is your first fantasy novel. So let's let's take it back a notch. You're not on my level, okay? You're not. You're just genuinely. You haven't read, but like. Half of I didn't know we series. were having a fucking challenge. I didn't know you, you were. You told me I had a superiority complex. I didn't know you were challenging many, me to a duel. How many? If I no, you would already be dead if it was a duel. If if our if my skill level is how many books I've read in the fantasy genre, and yours was yours, you would die so fast, immediately, like one move, and people would be like, "Oh, I thought you know this was supposed to be even. That was almost inappropriately outmatched." Because you've read one and a half fantasy novels. Okay. I have read multiple series this year. Just this year alone. See what I mean? Series. You'll see what I mean? That's not superiority complex. complex. That's you Cody thinks not he's better than everybody else. in the fantasy Namely genre. Namely me. In the terms of no, fantasy genre knowledge. If you can, say, if you can knowledge, say that I hate pregnant bitches, I can say that Cody thinks he's fucking better than everybody else. I think I'm better than you when it there comes it to is. fantasy genre no, just knowledge. Cut it right there. I want Anthony. I think I'm better than you. I want you to cut it. And I the you, rest episode so is fucking Leslie, non. It doesn't matter. How would you describe if so based on your extensive um, fantasy knowledge? How would you describe this this fantasy world building? Would it be Would it be better, worse? You know, do you think the plot is is deeper than the last fantasy you know series you read or or maybe you one you read when you were right a kid? Now? I'm trying to prove I don't have a spirit of complex. You just have <laughs> never read so fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just spent the last fucking 15 minutes shitting on my slutty fairy book. I get to Honestly, the, it's not slutty. It's To me, the, this is my thing. I don't think it's steamy. Like that I I can understand how that's not steamy at all because if I read that, I wouldn't be turned on. <laughs> like it's one of those like I read the whole thing going, "Oh my god." Oh my god. What if you just had sex and 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 it was like that? Because everything that was going on in there and it's also like very, very much so and this is something that I'll have to I'll have to say for sure. It's very much from the female point of view. Yeah. And you can tell. It's like for women. She's not aiming that at both sides at all. Like, it's no. not like, hey, you know, both people. No, this clearly is a is a female's fantasy. Well, it's written from Thea's perspective. So oh, I that's don't disagree with you. I'm not what you're listening. hearing. I, good authors, both sides. Nailed it. That's why women authors aren't any good. <laughs> Leslie did point out that I haven't read a woman author in a long time. You've, I don't think you've ever I read a woman author. I definitely have Who? read women authors. Whom? I, Anne Rand, I've read her stuff. Oh, oh, you got fucking awards. So does everybody. They went to fucking public school. Okay, I, I didn't read it in public school. What book did you read by Anne Rand? 1989. That's not even the name of that book, and that's not who wrote that book. Who, what did Anne George Rand George Orwell, Orwell wrote, wrote 1984. 1984. Anne Rand wrote, um, good lord. <laughs> this is bad this is a long time ago hmm. 10 years ago i'll Anne wait Rand, right? i'll Which wait one is it called um <laughs> i don't do, read do, very do, do, <laughs> women do, authors do, apparently and ran wrote um do, 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 apocalypse no Rah! i don't know do you know anthem you fucking anthem, dickhead that's what it's called i read it, at, it that was at school <laughs> I yeah did that in school. public school <laughs> just like everybody did <laughs> I'm trying to think of an okay. Honestly, what name? Name me a female author that you have read that you were not forced to read because I have read books by male authors. Mm, yeah, well, that that's book good I just books. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I I don't know actually the last time because honestly, what there it is. I'm trying to think of the last. Cody's a I sexist. Read. Uh, well, other than who her, hates women, there I hadn't the, women in fantasy like author wise. You never read the Hunger weren't Games? Weren't around. Oh, I did read the Hunger Games. That's written by a female. Susan yeah, nailed Collins. it. Got it. I have, I'm sure if I went back through all the books I've read. But recently, no, I have not. Like, my most recent book series that I've been reading all have been male. Um, Red I've Rising. I've never seen you read a female book. Uh, the First Law trilogy. And I've known you 10 years. Um, I've read a lot of Michael Greeny. Uh, what else have I been reading? Lawhead. Stephen Lawhead, I used to read a lot. I haven't read him. Ted Decker, I've read a book. That's not recent. Anyway, what am I re missing a whole series that I read? Nobody cares. I don't remember. I don't know how we got so down book talk here, but. It was you. This yeah, what you were well, doing. I, no, I just wanted to, to, I want you to remember that anytime you want to start making fun of 
anybody for watching anime and especially anime porn. That seems like the same level because it's not even like good. You know what I mean? We get it. So that's where I'm at with it. Do you get it? I'm what tired book series of have you read that's written by a man? Now that I'm thinking about it, do so you want to put me on the spot? I don't read. There's not a lot of series. I, most of the books that I read are like one-off books. That book, the one I read a couple months ago, was written by a man. I can't remember his. I can't remember the name of the author. But I listen. I do read a lot of like crime, like suspense type. I novels. bought Fourth Wing. We did, but you did buy Fourth Wing. But then you, but then you heard the fucking synopsis of it online. You were like, "Yeah, fuck this. I'm not reading this." I probably won't read it. You're not not because read it's it. written by a woman. But it just says it's not your cup of tea. It's I'm way, reading it. I think it's way younger than than I. It's like that. Like. From what I hear, I know so. the book is like a little smutty, but from what I hear, it's definitely like leaning towards YA. It can't be classified as YA because yeah. I think it's too. No, see, I I like like a big like Brandon it, Sanderson. No that's who I was missing. It's literally the like your Gaga one. and the Mistborn series. Oh uh, yeah, so those that's I was like I'm missing some who massive read, who author. who wrote the red the Red Rising series? Pierce Brown. Pe Pierce Brown. Yeah, I would love to interview him. Pierce Brown. Why does that name sound? Pierce Brosnan is who I'm thinking. Good lord. Pierce Brown is good. But uh The he... first book series I ever read was written by a man. Okay. The Lemony Snicket series. That was my first chapter book series okay. I ever read at elementary school. Yeah, because that's a big difference. <laughs> I think we both need to pick up a series written by the opposite sex. That's our challenge. And we'll read it. That's and our we'll challenge. talk about it here. A I'm series... not gonna read those. Why? Because I I don't you've already told me so much about them. I might read her. But not those books. Do like Throne of Glass because that's what I think I'm going to read next. I want something Throne that's. Of Glass I want series. something that's. It, I'm going to go find a woman who's written a series like I like though. Which apparently is like Throne of Glass. Apparently that series is much have, like deeper. Any smutty uh, or like, like Crescent Moon or the Crescent City. I something Listen, series. I'll look it up. But I will say this: I want like a, a little bit more advanced style fantasy book. And okay. I'll find an author, and I'll read the series from the a female author. And you have to read Red Rising. <laughs> I wish you read Red Rising so bad. I'll read. I'll I want read somebody to read Red Rising. Thing, you've already me. told me a lot about it too. You literally look. Y'all, y'all want to hear something before? Yeah, but it's it's better than that. Because I think we're almost done. I want to tell y'all a story though first before we go. And the other night, uh, we came home, and Cody and I were like talking about our books, like just debriefing what was going on and i got into like okay well i kind of shit on you for all these months about your red rising series i said let me like actually hear about it so cody like lulled me to sleep with his bedtime stories he went through the whole first two books no not even close dang near. you didn't make it to the end of the first book i thought you got me to the end of the first yeah, one. you told you me this out. stuff no you told me about space cowboys and that was in the second what? book what space how we went to space camp space camp yeah, you told me you went to space camp. You didn't go to space camp. I'm oversimplifying. Also, stop obviously. giving people spoilers of this a, a series that is new enough. I didn't give them spoilers on that book. Don't give spoilers. I didn't realize space camp was a spoiler. Well, that isn't. But if I described what you're, but talking that's in the about, second book was space camp. No, well, it's like the first chapter. And I just told you that. That's well, happened. anyway, I was falling asleep and he went through like basically the first book and I was like dozing off. He was like, no, you have like two more minutes. And it was just really cute and sweet. I was just listening to your book until I fell asleep. Listen, Tell me a bedtime story. It was lovely. That's a great book series. It, really it sounds, is. it does, it actually does sound it's really, so really good. good. I mean, the first book is like a, and it feels, me, it's like, a little dystopian, which I always like a good dystopian novel. Well, at least I feel like dystopian. it's kind of starting like a dystopian society. At least it kind of feels like it starts out that way with like the different classes and that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, it's like post, it's like also, it's in the future because uh, it's sci-fi. Yeah. So like, it's I don't wild. necessarily think it's necessarily dystopian. I don't know. Dystopian I feel like is it like, gives me a little dystopian vibe. I think vibes. dystopian is like a very, yeah, okay, well, it kind of is, but like. It kind of is. You literally described kind of it like almost though. like it's Hunger Games right style. I know it's not. Again, that's a very. It is Hunger Games style that's in dystopian. the sense of like a, but that's not dystopian. Isn't Hunger really? Games is a dystopian When I think series. of dystopian, I think of like. It's dystopian YA. I don't know. I, so it I was like Divergent it. series. The Giver is like more of like a dystopian novel. Yeah, dystopian. I I agree. I like dystopian. The Giver, dystopian. 1984. 1980. What's this? 1984. 1984. Then 1989 is Taylor Swift. I'm 1989 is Taylor Swift. Oh my god! You've infected me. I feel like I've got like. <laughs> it's like a disease now. Oh. oh my god, come the fuck off of it. Listen, no, my problem isn't that she's that Taylor Swift is great. That's a great album. It's that, you have great taste. It's that you have like and you just guys for Taylor's have version created no like lore. 
There is lore. There's no lore. It's there is just Taylor songs. Swift lore. It's so weird. We're not getting into this. Bye, y'all. We're going to end this now so I can go and hate myself. Oh, my God. You're so <laughs> fucking dramatic. Thank you guys for getting to here if you got to here. Uh, please like, follow, subscribe. Uh, this podcast specifically, but all of our accounts, by all means. Um, at one point, I do want to quit my job, and so that's what I need you guys to do. Uh, help me quit that? my job. 100%. At some point, it's what everybody wants to do, right? I guess so. Like, what do you mean? I want to retire. We're not even close. Rock and roll. Peace out. Love y'all. Bye.